Hello everyone, this is Crota from StarCraft Legacy giving you a shoutcast and commentary between Captain Hammer and Slayer's Boxer. Now, I do not know if these are the real legitimate people, folks. Um, by the looks of it, by their micro, I, it didn't look quite right. Just because we're going to see Boxer here forget to set up a rally point. I started shoutcasting this game earlier and I'm like, this can't be good. I fast forward through the game thought it was extremely interesting and extremely entertaining and decided okay maybe I'll give it a chance so already Captain Hammer going for a six pool spawning pool trying to get a very early spawning pool perhaps doing some sort of rush that was my initial impression I'm like okay is he trying to go for some sort of crazy six pool rush on blistering sands that would be one of the strangest plays I've ever seen um, if you thought that was a strange play what I was talking about then you guys haven't seen anything yet. So Captain Hammer with that spawning pool down, trying to uh, continuing to build a larva, and going to try to perhaps try to do. I believe he tries to do some sort of fast tech to tier two, which is um, one of the strangest things that I've seen in quite some time. Anyway, drone still being produced. A harvester count ten for Boxer, and eight for Captain Hammer. And now, going to be able to start producing Zerglings if he wants to. However, it doesn't look like he is. No, going for an early queen. So going for an early queen first, even before an overlord. So getting a queen before an overlord, not 100% sure about this strategy still. Watching on this particular build, I think the players were just trying to essentially have fun more than anything else. So, yeah, they were just trying to have some fun and just trying to experiment with some things. Give me one moment. Hell, sorry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and unpause the replay. So, back over here, the hatchery already has that first queen building, and now also producing an overlord. In Boxer's base, Boxer now getting a refinery up, has, and now building the barracks as well. Just a little bit behind in terms of the whole entire build, but perhaps Boxer is trying to get used to this, or this isn't really Boxer at all. But anyways, I promise you this game does get interesting, a little bit out of the ordinary, play by Captain Hammer. Captain Hammer now moving out with this Overlord in order to do some scouting. So gonna go ahead and scout on this map. Back over here, Barracks is now nearing completion. No, looks as though Boxer pulled the SCV off of that line um, for a little moment and then that Barracks stopped being built. Back over here, we already have the Queen spawning larva on the building and now we have an extractor up and running. Also, a second Queen being trained. So there are two Queens currently out now remember, there is only one queen that you can spawn larva at a time. So to have two queens, you normally have two hatcheries, or you really, really want to use a lot of of creep tumors for some strange reason. Once again, for some reason, canceling that extractor once, and also building a third queen. So when I, the first time I watched this replay, and as soon as I saw that there was three queens, I'm like. Is Captain Hammer trying to go for some sort of crazy queen rush? A queen rush would be very, very interesting considering the queens have um, 175 hit points. They do have a fairly decent amount of attack, um, dealing 8 damage per attack, and also um, having a range of 2, or having a range of 3 with 2 attacks. And on top of that, these queens together can transfuse each other. So that transfusion healing for 125 hit points each. Now that hatchery, as it's being completed, m being morphed into tier 2 into the lair, it will also open up the Nidus Canal for him. So yeah, exactly. The Captain Hammer is going to use queens, dump them into the Nidus Canal, and have them attack the Terran base. Now this is part of patch 9. The queen's movement speed has not been upgraded yet, or degraded back on normal ground. So the queens are not able to move nearly as quickly when off creep. Additional drones being transferred over. T and looking at the harvester count, Captain Hammer only has 12 harvesters and he's mining um, out of those 12 harvesters only 8 of them or even s yeah, 8 of them are mining gas. Now 7 of them are mining gas. Back over here now, Captain Hammer continuing to produce units wants to build the Nidus network. So the, the Nidus network, 150 minerals, 200 gas. Gonna go ahead and drop that down. You already see the Overlord in position over here. 
a Slayer's Boxer now building up some Marines, one with the Reactor, one and one Marauder being built as well, and getting that um, Combat Shield upgrade. So the Combat Shield upgrade enabling those uh, Marines that get an additional 10 hit points, making the Stim Packs much easier to um, use. And look at them dancing. Aww. That was, that was kind of cute for a while. The, <laughs> all of the Marines and those Marauders... Can I... Should I... Here, let me rewind that. Can I move it up just a little bit? So, so yeah. Oh no! Oh, I missed it again. Hey, you guys said you guys want to see cuter, stranger things. So, okay. Oh, dang it! Okay, third time it didn't work. I'm sorry. Anyways, back over here, Overlord still in the air, offering sight, and that Nidus network nearing completion will be able to drop. Um, will be able to. Um, tunnel over here on this far side of the map. We already have four queens being already four queens trained up. Some of them have a fair amount of energy. One of them has 113, 149, 157. So those queens will in fact be able to transfuse each other and that's plenty, plenty, plenty of health for those units. Nidus were now up and gonna go ahead and pop out of that ground. Queen's now gonna be flooding through that Nidus network spawning those units so a couple zerglings already out and now those queens gonna go ahead and move on out those queens however do move slower even uh, on ground that is not on creep so these queens um, will be moving out in just a moment however there are a couple banelings scv runs into those queens those queens moving very slowly that queen however getting stuck on that backside as those banelings are not quite ready and in come these queens queens are going to start attacking at these scvs marines and marauders trying to take down these units concussion missiles slowing down that queen However, a quick transfusion saving that queen again. So that queen down to 166 hit points, continuing to be transfused. So just a queen rush using these queens, taking down these marines as these zerglings are making short work of these SCVs over here. Queens continuing to attack, continuing to deal damage, and plenty of transfusion being used. Those queens still healing each other back up to full health continuously. Scanner sweep reveals that that Nidus Worm is over there as those zerglings are now trying to take down some of those... Uh, where is that zergling? Uh oh, zerglings trying to take down some of the other buildings. I hear a zergling, but I don't see a zergling. Oh, zerglings trying to take down that orbital command. Queens continually regenerating their hit points, regenerating their mana, and now we have a Viking in the air. The Viking, obviously not a Banshee, unable to attack those ground units. Another transfusion off on that Queen. So Queen continually getting transfused. Those Marauders unable to take down those units. One Siege Tank finally able to focus down one of those units. Another Queen getting taken down again. That final Queen is going to be able to transfuse that Queen. Continue to try to save it. Another transfusion. So now it is just two Queens continuing to fight back. However, the Command Center has been taken down by those Zerglings. And Boxer pretty much has nothing left in his base. He does not have the minerals in order to rebuild a command center. So all that he has are these four SCVs over here, unable to harvest anything else. And Boxer is going to have to uh, GG in just a moment. Army-wise, uh, Captain Hammer only has 150 uh, minerals in terms of an army compared to Slayer Boxer's 550. But that should still be enough if Captain Hammer is mining at 200 minerals a minute more than Slayer's Boxer. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope you guys enjoyed this replay here from Blistering Sands. Just an interesting strategy that I've never seen before. I hope you guys enjoyed it.